Hello Gemini and welcome to 811 Moon. This is going to be your love reading, but I believe I'm going to be videoing two different videos. I think I'm going to make two different videos and I'll tell you why. Um, I keep getting a very strong message about spirit and or from loved ones or from the other side and I believe a lot of you if you see this image right now of the dove with the olive branch it's resonating with you so I wanted to this first reading is going to be um, about spirit and I wanted to show you the first synchronicity here is look at the colors of these two cards the white and the blue blue is communication and white is spirit and I'm noticing that there's a lot of communication here from from spirit up. The veil is very thin right now. You may be experiencing some synchronicities in your life. You might be seeing uh, synchrony, uh, synchronicity within numbers. You may be seeing feathers left at your doorstep. You may be finding uh, lyrics, music lyrics stand out to you right now for some reason. And we also, when I uh, drew your card, we got messages, the third house of messages. So I really feel that a lot of Gemini right now are hearing from their loved ones on the other side. And I'm going to be working on this first and then you can tune into the next video for the love reading, okay? So the olive branch and the dove, messages are coming your way, Gemini. And Many of you, I believe, are, are seeing the synchronicities and the listening. But others, I think this is just your notification right now. Whenever you see this video, it, this is a timeless video right now. If you tune into this a year from now, it's because it's your time to hear it. And let's see what it says on the back. So you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life through turmoil a blessing will soon be revealed. So that is your, your message, Gemini. And whoever, whoever you're missing right now or lost, they wanted you to know that. That there is a higher purpose for whatever happened, Gemini, and that you will soon be receiving a blessing. So I will repeat that this is a timeless video, so no matter whenever you watch it, it's if it resonates with you or you're in union with this message, you, you feel connected to this message, then it is for you and be looking for the signs from your ancestors, loved ones on the other side, whether they're friends, whatever they are, whatever soul family you have on the other side, Pay attention to the messages right now. And let's see what the cards have to say. Let's see. So the energy of the reading is the Ace of Cups, which is, a, is always usually an amazing, amazing card. And I see your cup spilling over right now, Gemini. And I think it might be emotion, whatever you're experiencing because you because the veil is thin or because you're getting messages from a loved one you you may be really emotional right now and for some of you it might be a very new feeling and you're dealing with it but it also can be the beginning of a new cycle for you something new is starting in your life when 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 something leaves this realm you know their energy gets dispersed into the universe or whatever it starts a new cycle for those connected to that energy. So I feel as though you are gonna be getting a new a new connection somewhere in your life. And yeah, we got we've got a broken heart, Gemini. Um you may maybe this is a time of year, there's an anniversary of a death, or maybe this is an anniversary of you, you know, maybe it's a, your wedding anniversary and your spouse passed away years ago or something. Or recently, I'm not sure. It's going to be different for every single Gemini. But that's 
those are the energies. So we've got the Ace of Cups and the Three of Swords, which is Three, three of Swords represents heartbreak, or it can represent uh, someone we've lost. And then we have for a lot of you I think you may have lost a friend I feel as though because this goes this is in the bottom of the this is the unconscious subconscious the, the shadow part of this is that you may have lost a friend uh, or if you were married you might have considered your spouse your best friend or maybe during this virus epidemic you lost someone important to you that was a close friend or maybe it was somebody elderly that you looked up to in the nursing home when they died I, i'm getting a lot of different messages like this like download after download after download so i apologize if i stop talking or and continue or the breaks just because i keep getting a lot of messages so right now know that they're being held in the arms of source energy they're being held in the arms of others who have passed before so please understand that or whatever that resonates with you right now um yeah see messages in the past so these are people from the past um that have passed on their direction was was you lost them so what the knight of wands is a strong individual with direction and i feel like whoever you lost was someone you felt was very strong in this life in this physical world and gemini i believe that you really looked up to them you honored them and they were, I don't want to say they were a knight in shining armor, but they were, you held them near and dear in your heart and you, and you felt like they were a warrior or they were somebody strong or they were someone that maybe this was someone in the military or someone in a firefighter, police, and earlier in their life, or if they were older, they did that as a young child, not as a young child, but as a, in their, in their youth. I apologize I'm really getting a lot of messages fast so however you view this card right now Gemini is what represents the person that passed and know that they are riding on a beautiful horse on the other side with their wand held high with direction like they they believe that they that they that was their time that's how they believe right now like that's how they that's how they're communicating that it was the time it was and I I don't know who this resonates for and I don't know who this message is for but I'm just letting you know that's what I'm getting this this represents the top of the deck this is the crowning of the deck and this this message here look at the white like fawn in the back represents spirit they're walking beside you. They're walking beside you and they're holding the blessing. See that gold coin? And gold, the, the pentacles in decks, or if they call them coins, pentacles, whatever, they represent things of value. It does not have to mean money. Maybe someone passed away recently and you inherited money and that was the message. Or maybe somebody uh, left you something of value that you treasure, whether it was a letter, because uh, I'm seeing, you know, we're, we are talking about messages, letter, a piece of jewelry. They, they left you something of value that, that was a blessing. And I believe she's carrying a message that another blessing is coming. It could be in any form. It could be in any form. But pentacles usually represent the physical world, so I believe it might be a, a tangible object, but it, it might not be. I, I'm, I, I'm just getting so many downloads. It could be so many different things for so many different Geminis right now that are mourning, uh, mourning the loss of someone, mourning the loss of someone on an anniversary. 
because whether it's the anniversary of their death or the anniversary of a marriage or the anniversary of a friendship, this May is a, is a powerful month for you guys right now. I get two messages with this card. I feel like you've been, you know, this whole thing leaves you very cold inside um, the loss. Like the loss is very desolate, but I, this is you. So I also see that you've been going it alone maybe. Maybe you haven't reached out to anybody to tell them how you've been feeling or you haven't, you've been, you've been trying to deal with this alone and maybe some of you maybe need to go to counseling, maybe need to call a friend, maybe need to go graveside. I'm not sure, but that light that he's carrying, that the, that the hermit is carrying, it typically re represents knowledge and things. But for you guys, I feel like it's two things. I feel like it represents knowledge that this, this message for you guys is to impart the knowledge that they're on the other side and they're okay and they're finding their way like they are with the king of wands the knight i'm sorry the knight of wands so these two cards are very relevant but i also feel like it represents that there's light the light of spirit that they're holding it high for you to see i feel like that's that's what the card is doing right there yeah look at this card the five of pentacles look at the desolation there but all those shiny pentacles are lit you know like they, they stand out i think it's the message for you guys right now is when you think all is lost there's still beauty there's still growth and there's still moving forward So that's that's an important part of the message that this is still moving forward. And you've got two cards here that are winter together. So there's definitely a lot of desolation and coldness associated with, you know, you feel that way. Like you feel like it's it's cold and desolate without them. You, you I, I don't know if you, it's that you want to feel their physical warmth or you want to experience, you know, just having them with you another minute, which I think a lot of people do when, they, when, they, when they've lost someone. So the light and the pentacles on these are really indications that there, there, are a, there is a blessing coming. There is something coming and to look for messages from your people on the other side. Yeah, and then look at this. You've got another five. Um, but what I see here, see all that white, that spirit. They're they're trying to communicate with you. They're definitely trying to communicate with you. So please pay attention, Gemini, to the messages that are coming. And then look. This is the this is the world card. This is completion. Your loved ones on the other side feel like they've gone through the cycle and they've completed something. Being there is their completion and you guys have a new beginning. So leaving here for them was a completion and for you guys it was a new beginning. It's, you know, I always hear the term like new, I'm a widow so I, I'm just going to utilize a, a term that I, you know, kept, you know, was told many many times being a you know a military spouse and then becoming a widow was that everything's a new normal every time you go through a cycle like when they come back from deployment it's a new it's a new normal when he passed away i had to get used to a new normal we had i had my son and i had to get used to being just my son and i not the third person it was like a shadowy figure was always missing and i feel that's your message that you, you know buckle up that this is a new normal for you and maybe you've had you've been grieving for years and haven't moved forward in some fashion and now you, this this is the message is that you've got to move forward that they've reached their, they want you to know that they've reached a completion of a cycle 
and that they want you to have a new cycle but that they're okay and they're moving they're moving forward with whatever they have to do but also let 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 you know that they're that they're, that they're okay I, I I'm really a little dumbfounded with this message because this is not what I sat down to do for Gemini and I sat down to do a, a love prediction for you and this is what happened so please if this resonates with you accept it for what it is whether you believe in it or not just yeah you know, if you if you are if you feel this mirrors your experience I hope it gives you some comfort I hope you're able to work on your new beginning and look out for the, the messages and blessings that are coming your way and that everything has a higher purpose in the in your life and I truly hope you are having um, a good May and that you are able to move forward and I apologize I have such a pain in my chest right now um, I'm hoping Gemini that you are able to move forward and have peace love and light in your life thank you so much for watching Gemini if you are interested there'll be another video posted for the love reading now that I was able to give you this message